Hey third graders, welcome back to your third science unit. This is Mr. Smith here from John W. Luff Elementary, and I'm gonna kick off this third science unit with our Paige Keeley probe. So we have a really, really big question for you. So how do forces change motion? So we're gonna look at our first Paige Keeley probe. If you do not have a pencil or a piece of paper, go ahead and push pause to get those things now. Okay, now that you have your pencil and piece of paper, let's take a look at the scenario that's here in our Paige Keeley probe. So three friends are playing golf. So here we have one of the golf players. Uh, he has uh, a golf club here and he's getting ready to hit the ball that's on the tee right here. So they each have different ideas about the forces that act on the golf ball. Here's what they think. Finn says that forces act on the golf ball only when the golfer hits the ball. Eat says that forces act on the golf ball only when the ball is on the tee. And Tad thinks that forces act on the golf ball when it is on the tee and when the golfer hits the ball. So those are all three very interesting ideas. On your piece of paper, I want you to write down who has the best idea about forces. Is it either Finn, Pete, or Tad? Go ahead and push pause to write either of those three names down. Okay, now that you have one of those three names down, I want you to take this opportunity to write two or three sentences to explain why you agree with that person. Go ahead and push pause to do this now. Okay, now that you have those sentences down, I want you to take your piece of paper and go share it with either a family member, a friend, or even one of your stuffed animals. Then after you've done that, we've linked a video about Rube Goldberg. It's a really awesome video about how forces can act to light up a Christmas tree. Check it out and then join us tomorrow for your next video on forces in motion.